have you ever had one of those projects that just seemed like just isn't finished? I keep looking and looking at it, but it just wasn't done. So I decided that to go along with my theme of nature, I needed to have a tree on this uh, project. So I just took a piece of brown patterned scrapbook paper and I just started freeform cutting some branches and trees, um, the tree trunk, kind of just um, really, really basic. I just took it and um, I would just kind of cut a long curving branch and I'm going to just cut and I'm going to take, I'm going to kind of glue everything down after I get it positioned the way I want. Um, then I'm going to just give it a little bit of glue and then I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and add some quilting to incorporate this into the background. Then I'm going to take, um, make some leaves, and um, to go along with my verse of nature's first green is gold, I'm going to paint some gold shimmers and cut out some little leaves and just attach those down with a basic stitch. Um, so anyway, this is my solution to finish off this project. Like I said, so many times uh, it's hard to explain when you're working on something, but it just felt unfinished. There was not a strong enough focal point with this piece. And um, I just wanted to um, add something stronger. I love the little flowers. I love the numbers. Um, everything was really, really nice. But just, like I said, there just didn't seem to be enough focus. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attach some of this down. I've got my favorite glue here. It's um, fabric tack adhesive. Um, it's made by Beacon. And this, I love this for, for fabric or paper projects. I pretty much use it on everything. And I'm just going to put a little glue down. Just enough to hold this. Um, so I'm going to just continue gluing until I get most of the pieces attached. Then I'm going to take it to the sewing machine just like I did before and just do some random free motion stitching on it to um, fill in um, all the blank spots. Uh, this will just kind of texturize the paper a little bit and um, I think I'm going to end up with something I'm going to be really excited about. I'm not really worrying if this is perfect. This is just very, very much random and um, just kind of building some tree branches here. And you know, nature is usually very random and things are not, for an organic look, you can't do too much planning or it ends up looking like you've actually cut it all out and planned it. So let's see. Okay, I really like that. So I'm going to just trim one little area here. Don't like this part. Okay. So now I'm gonna let this dry. Then I'll take it to the machine, and with some probably some brown variegated thread, go ahead and stitch this down. Uh, make some texture to the bark, and uh, then I'll cut some leaves out, and I'll come back and show you that. Okay. Okay. I've just gone ahead and sewn down my tree trunk, and I just did um, a brown variegated thread, and just did some kind of random bark type lines. Uh, just to kind of hold everything together. Then I took, this is actually just a part of a pet some packaging because I wanted a little bit heavier weight for my leaves and I just covered that with um, gold glimmer blings. Um, that's the, the heavy um, glitter in the shimmers paint, the blings. Um, so anyway, that turned out just beautiful and it's just very, very shiny. So I'm just going to cut some leaves out and this is all free form. So I'm just going to take and cut. Just cut out little leaf shapes. And I'm going to just, then I'm going to take these over here and just start gluing them down. Uh, after, and uh, do different sizes and just kind of just work with it. Don't, don't feel like you have to make it perfect because it's just going to be um, just a kind of random. I'm going for is trying to have an organic, natural feel. And, um, these aren't showing up quite as much as I would like with the green, so I may take a little bit of green paint and touch on these when I finish. Uh, one thing I am thinking about is I, I'm not going to do a whole lot of leaves because this is sp supposed to be like a spring look and um, you know, it's like the first leaves, so it doesn't have to be covered with, with leaves and um, just enough to kind of give the impression of the golden leaves. So once again, I'm just going to take a tiny bit of my fabric tack and just literally just like a little bit on the back and just start poking these down. 
You can tell I'm not really worrying about placement. I'm just getting these down. And uh, then I'm going to just take them to the machine and just do a quick little bitty stitch through each one. And um, when I do something like that, I, will, I won't clip my threads. I'll just do all the stitches and then I'll come back when I'm finished and clip all the threads. <clears throat> I'll probably stitch it with the same brown thread that I used because, well, number one, that's already in my machine, and also um, the brown will help make the leaves stand out a little bit too. So I'm just going to keep cutting a few more leaves and just add these on. I'm really, really happy with the way this is coming out now because I know before I'd said that it just didn't, it felt unfinished, um, not complete, and now this is just really um, adding a little extra dimension and texture to, to this project, and I'm really happy with how this is looking. So I'm going to continue cutting and glue these down, and then I'll be back to show you the next step.